All right, welcome. In this video, we will look at the beginnings of HTML, the basic language to create websites. Specifically, we'll be looking at four or five different HTML tags. I'm starting with the HTML, the head, title, body, H1, and paragraph tags. So we're going to start off in Notepad with a very blank, empty screen and we're going to start by creating our HTML tags and I'm just giving some space in between here um, that all of our HTML that we type is going to go in. You don't have to have spaces, um, those spaces do not affect the look of the page but um, it does help us to just open it, close it, and then give us some space to work in. For the next set of tags I'm going to tab and indent and I'm going to create my head tags. Now the head tags do not, anything that you put inside the head tags does not show up on the actual page, page itself, but is just information for the browser um, telling Internet Explorer or Firefox um, information about the website itself. Inside of here, I'm going to add a title tag. And the title tag is what appears across the top of the browser. And we're going to save this real quick and we'll go look at it. It's getting saved to my DTS folder. And the naming convention you're going to follow is your first name, last name, and then HTML hyphen page html that dot html is super important if you don't add that the page will not work in the browser so now that we have this set here I'm going to switch over to my browser and open up the file that we just created so I go into my web unit and I have my HTML page. So, notice what we have here. We have nothing on the page itself, but across the top of the browser and in the tab here, it says my first HTML page. So what we could learn from that is that anything that goes inside of these title tags is going to appear at the top of the page. Let me just close this and open that again to see if uh, it refreshes the syntax highlighting. That's looking better. Okay. Now, underneath the head tag, I'm going to come down a space and still indented. I'm going to open and close a tag called body. What the body tag does is displays in the actual web browser stuff. So things that go inside the head do not show up on the page and things that go inside of the body do show up on the page. You should never have HTML or anything outside of either the body or the head. So all of your code should either be inside the head tag or it should be inside of the body tag. And once we have our body tag, we're going to create an H1, meaning header level one. And inside of here, just going to put a header and below that we're going to use a tag called the P tag which is either used for one line of text or multiple lines like a paragraph of text and there we go so we should have a header show up with a paragraph and I if I come back to my browser and I refresh the page notice that now we have a big header and a paragraph the final part of the assignment was to see if you could create a link and I will show you how to do that here. So what I've done first is I've added a, another paragraph tag and notice that I've hit the line break inside of that so what you'll see is that that space goes down to the next line but that will not actually be reflected in the browser itself so these line breaks I could put 10 lines here 
and that will not change the spacing. So that spacing is just for us, but notice that we do have the indenting, and rather than just have the text run off the page like that, I'm indenting it down to the next line. So what I want to do now is I want to make this text a link. And the way to do that is by using something called the anchor tag, which has a format like this. So first of all, we see that just like the paragraph tag, the anchor tag starts with an A. But unlike the paragraph tag, it has what's called an attribute, which is more information inside of the tag. And in this case, it's saying the hypertext reference is going to be going to this website. An important thing is that you have to have HTTP. If you leave off the HTTP, it will not work. So you put HTTP, the website you want to go to. Inside of the anchor tag, you put the text that you want to show up as a link, and then finally make sure that you close that tag when you're finished with it. And now what we should have is another paragraph that has a link to debrook.org. So let's go check on that. So I'm refreshing the page. See another paragraph. And it looks like we do have a link. And when I click on it, it should take me to debrook.org. So that works, and we are set to go. So there you have it, your first HTML page. Again, just the HTML, the head, the title, the body, H1, the paragraph are all that's required. And for that real A, to get that final uh, two points there for the assignment, um, you need to have an anchor tag as well. So there you go. When you're finished, save your stuff into the Handon folder, and congratulations on your first HTML page.